So we are moving on now to our team from Master Provisions. They are expanding in our community. We love you guys. You know, we're just grateful for all you do and the people you serve. But Roger, welcome back. It's great to be here with the Rumor top health and your... wellness ambassador. Oh. That's you. <laughs> you got, you're sitting between two of them, too. Uh, rumor has it that you're a short-timer. What's going on with that? I'm transitioning to a different phase of life after 44 years and handing the reins over to Shane. And it's st I'm still going to be involved, just not in the day-to-day -day activities and only getting to do the things I enjoy doing. <laughs> oh, we should all be so glad, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, you are here because uh, there is this amazing thing that I've been told that you are expanding and growing and mm -hmm. sadly that means so is the need in our community. Mm -hmm. So Meg, mm -hmm. what's going on? Well, I can tell you uh, after a, a fantastic year last year, uh, we have come to a point where we're ready to celebrate. We are ready to celebrate all that God has done for Master Provisions, all the folks that we've been able to share and love on. And so we're doing that in a, in a new way this year. Next month, uh, we are hosting our inaugural gala, Bridges to Blessings. Look at that. Exactly. <laughs> our presenting sponsors, Verse Logistics, they have had our back for a long time and they have come alongside us. And we will welcome uh, 300 plus of our dearest friends to North by Hotel Covington on February 23rd. So let's talk about that. If you'd like to attend that, we will find room at the table for you. Mm -hmm. Let's make sure we know that. Um, second thing, though, is that you're raising money because you're expanding. And yes. Shane, I'm just going to put you on the spot for people who don't have any idea what Master Provisions is. And I will say that there are a lot of people who know who you are, and there are people like, what are they? And, you know, what's your mission? You know, why'd you yeah. want to kind of step into this role or elbow Roger out? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's good. Well, as we all know, these are really big shoes to fill, and, and you can't do it just one person. So we do whatever we can to to do that and so do the best I can but but our mission is just resource and needs in and through our community and helping um, uh, create opportunities for people to get food and clothing and it is amazing to see what our volunteers do every single day and amazing staff and all of our agencies as we get to meet them so just seeing people come in and be able to resource the food to their needs is, is really really helpful you have quite an operation we have a little video and some photos that you guys sent us but uh, my understanding is you've been doing that in this little tiny building in Erlanger mm -hmm. <laughs> and you found new space found new land what's going on with this God provided money to buy four acres at the corner of Sam Neeson Weaver Roads in Florence so we've acquired that debt free now we're going to be raising money to further our impact we just want to be Jesus to people without judging them, loving them. Our heart is to feed the hungry, clothe the poor, care for vulnerable individuals like special needs students from 11 different public high schools come to us to prepare food to help others with different types of needs. Mm -hmm. So we're all about loving and showing Christ's love in a real way where people feel welcome and accepted. That's what Master Provisions is all about. Well, I know that that's been your passion for a very long time, and you know we our community has benefited. But sadly, my understanding is in this COVID nineteen pandemic, mm -hmm. what's your need now? Double, mm -hmm. triple? It's easily doubled, and in March, the extended SNAP benefits will be reduced to pre pandemic levels. We see increasing needs, especially starting here in March, as people who were used to additional income that's going to go away, and with the inflation pressures. Our services are going to need, be needed more than ever, yeah. and our volunteers are going to continue to help drive our growth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, we have a rendering, I know, of what you're hoping this will look like. Mm -hmm. But for people not familiar just with some of your operations, how do you do that? How do you feed all these people? Where does the food come from? You know, because it's kind of one of those things that's almost overwhelming when you start looking at it. Yeah, it's amazing to see the opportunities that we have of, of partnering with places like Kroger and, and P&G and Amazon that we receive that, the, the donations and then we're able to sort through those things, our volunteers sort through those things so that way our agencies can come in and kind of shop, if you will, and, and work through what do they need and they take it back to their agencies and feed and clothe those people that they need to help. And it's amazing how many places I run into, there'll be a women's home or you know, a place that works with you know, fighting addiction and they'll be like, oh yeah, they, they bring us food. You know, mm -hmm. we don't even, you don't even know all the stories we hear about the lives you touch. Mm -hmm. So That's we're wonderful. grateful for that. That's awesome. So if you're not familiar, Master Provisions connects resources to needs. They take the surplus food and clothing in our community, bring it out, but they need help to do that because that's not free. <laughs> so we want to remind you that Bridges to Blessings is coming up on February 23rd. We'd love to have you just come to dinner and learn more about them. Mm -hmm. I'll be there to help them see it, but I know it is a very gentle, nobody's going to like here, write your check here. It's a very yeah. gentle way for you to find yeah. out maybe how you can volunteer. And by Absolutely. the way, we should always mention that you do need 
people, yes, right? Yes, always, every day, Monday through Friday in our uh, food distribution warehouse in Florence, Erlanger area, uh, we do need volunteers. So, and I know um, I met a lady just recently, Kim, who brought in her granddaughter to volunteer on a Tuesday, and it was through messaging that we had our time here last month with you, Liz, so Aww. thank you. Kim, thank you. We, <laughs> we feel so lucky that you'll watch and do that. All right, what's happening in health.com has ticket information. Megan, Roger, Shane, welcome to the family. Thank, thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks, Liz. Thanks, love you. Yeah. Thank you, Liz. Thank you.